The word itself, karate, it's two Japanese characters, kara meaning empty or open, and te meaning hand. In Korea, it's called either taekwondo or tangsudo. In China, it's called kung fu. But really, karate means uh, any striking art of the martial arts. I started quite by accident in a film with a film called Enter the Dragon, which I did in 1973. I've had the wonderful pleasure of working with some great martial artists. I worked with uh, Bruce Lee, I worked with his son Brandon, I worked with Chuck Norris, I worked with Jackie Chan. When working with these men, I learned a lot by watching them, making suggestions, and developing my own style. And Karate Kid was particularly gratifying to me. It was a, my favorite film of all the films I've worked on, dozens and dozens and dozens. It stands out as my very favorite. And unlike some directors that I've worked with, John never had the feeling that I know it all, the auteur, that he knew everything and everyone was gonna do things the way he wanted them. He allowed me to be creative. He said, reach inside of you, bring out what you feel is right for the martial arts. And he went with my flow. Yeah. Don't, don't hit him with it. Right. Put it on his Just chest push him, push and then push him. Yeah, like right. you're giving it to him. Right. Oh, so I almost have it. All of these people came to me pure, chaste, and they were like sponges. There was nothing that they objected to. Oh. All right, come on. Now, boy, you're dead now. All right. I used the training session to develop relationships among themselves. When I trained Pat Morita and Ralph Macho, I trained them together, and I trained them in a very relaxed manner. Now, both of these gentlemen were really good actors, but not very physical people. The training was sort of relaxed, and they had a lot of aches and pains, so I let them kind of complain together. And they developed this wonderful little relationship based on the sharing of their pain. You lose concentration in a fight and you're dead meat. Yes, Sensei. What? Yes, Sensei. When I trained Marty Cove, I never wanted the kids, the five main bad kids, to see him as a white belt because Marty had had no training prior to that. So I trained Marty all by himself and I never let anyone see him. The first time the kids saw him as a martial artist, they saw him with a black belt on in front of a class. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street, in competition, a man confronts you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? When I trained the five kids, Billy Zapka, Chad McQueen, all of the kids, I trained them in a very strict, traditional way. I chewed them out, I made them do push-ups. It was very, very strong. And these young kids, most of them, they had built this bond because they were in this pain together and this discipline, uh-oh, you know, it's like having a mean teacher, a mean coach, you, you bond. So I utilized that training and I, it showed and it worked very well for the screen. A teacher that is very physically oriented is far different from a teacher who is very mental and emotionally oriented. Because the teacher who teaches you the proper mental attitude, the proper spiritual attitude, I don't mean religious, I mean spiritual attitude, is also going to teach you the physical. And this balance 
in, in the Asian arts, there's always talk of balance. You have a balance of the mind and the body. Karate here. Karate here. Karate never here. You understand? I think so. Good night, Daniel san. When shots were taking taken inside the Cobra Kai karate school, there was a certain feeling. And then when you went out into Miyagi's garden, there was a whole different feeling. And it just had to do with the setting. Nobody had to say anything. You had the feeling that this one school was just physical and it was there's meanness there. There was not warmth, there was not friendliness. Everyone was a little bit on edge, a little bit afraid. And then you went over to the, the serenity of the garden. Yes. Show me wax on, wax off. Catch! 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 Show me pen to fence. Catch! Face! This! This! It is very possible for a teacher to teach someone without them knowing they are being taught, if they are receptive. Bruce Lee was a friend of mine. And Bruce had this wonderful expression. He said, the usefulness of the cup is its emptiness. What he was talking about was the mind. If the cup is empty, you can get whatever you want to give you nourishment. If it's filled with something already and you need something else for nourishment, it's useless to you. And that's the way the mind is. You might not know you're being taught, but you're receptive. Daniel was looking for answers. And he was waiting for Miyagi to teach him. He was so receptive, his mind was open. Wax off, breathe in, breathe out. And Miyagi didn't teach him the way that he thought he should be taught, but he was learning all the while. And the first time he did wax off, you know, wax on, it was there, but he didn't know it. But he was receptive. The competition aspect of martial arts training is the least important facet of martial arts training, period. What belt are you? Belt? Uh, uh, why am I done? Open division is only for brown belt or above. Oh, yeah. Uh, boy, uh, black belt. The tournament competition is really of no consequence. And I'll tell you why. In all sports, there are people who are physically gifted. The tournament is a competition in which those who are most physically gifted are rewarded. The kids who normally need to participate are the kids who are the weakest, who are the least gifted, and they are the ones who are shunted aside. They need to have a platform, an arena in which they can develop in martial arts, in a class, every single kid gets out there. If you constantly sit this kid who's less gifted on the bench and don't let him participate, you destroy his spirit. The martial arts over the past 20 years since the making of Karate Kid has grown literally by millions of participants in this country, but no longer were kids coming in just to learn how to punch somebody out. They saw the spiritualness in that film. Up to that point, all of the martial arts films had been rock'em, sock'em, chop saki. It was all at a physical level. Well, martial arts is 60, 70% spiritual. It's mental. But it was never shown on the screen. Finally, it came to being and people saw, aha, that's what it is, and that's what they wanted. Close your eye. The 
writer of this film, Robert Kamen, is a martial artist. And he put a special touch on it because he knew the feeling. The kids who were being taught by the bad guy coming around to realizing that what this guy is teaching me maybe, maybe isn't the right thing. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? No, Sensei. No mercy. John Kreese somehow missed the boat, and he thought only of the physical. So his students were never balanced. They were not spiritual, they had a physical thing. And when the physical thing didn't work, they had nothing to fall back on. But this young man, in spite of the pain that he was feeling and the injuries, he had the spirit to go on. He went beyond the physical and he triumphed. And it was so wonderful, it was like having a block of marble that I could carve, knowing what that finished product was going to be. And the finished product was gonna be that one moment, that wonderful kick. That's what we, sh we built this whole thing around, that one magic moment. And it worked because all of them bought into it. They all believed in it. They believed in what we were doing, that this was going to be magic. They allowed me to get into their heads and into their hearts, into their emotions. And they gave all of that, that deep self, they gave it to the film, and it shows. It was almost like perfection. So I keep striving to duplicate that. And I always want to be honest to that film because that film was so honest to me. Everything that I've really attained in life, I really owe to the martial arts. And I feel like I should give back. And I feel like that film is my gift to the martial arts. Hey guys, Lisa here. Did you know that Chen Zen, a character originated by Bruce Lee in 1972's Fist of Fury, has become a recurring character in kung fu movies, and the role is entrusted to the very best performers. Across five decades, Chen Zen has been played not only by Lee, but also by screen legends Jet Li and Donnie Yen. Who's your favorite martial arts actor? Let us know below.